Well, it is the season to be jolly, they say. However, for those who have lost loved ones, it's, diffi it's a difficult period. For some, it will be their first time celebrating Christmas without their loved ones. I'm one of those, and professionals say the feelings associated with loss are normal. Senior journalist uh, Reginald Vedboy and video journalist Lireko Motseko filed this report. Christmas is a sacred religious holiday and a global culture. It includes the exchange of gifts, decorating the Christmas tree, and of course, waiting on Santa Claus to arrive, amongst others. As much as it's supposed to be a joyous day, it does also bring heartache for some. Those who have lost loved ones during the year have to face this time without them. Edith Damunse lost a mother in May this year, following a heart attack. The mother of three says it's been hard to accept her loss. So I hugged her, I held her hand, she was still warm. Um, her body was still warm. Yeah. Um, whew, yes, the pain is still so... Yeah, and now that it's Christmas, I didn't have plans for Christmas because I didn't know how I will cope without my mother. Because we spend Christmas at her house and sometimes at my house. For Damunse, her mother was a force to be reckoned with, someone who cared deeply for her community. Damunse says prayer helps her in dealing with her sorrow. I pray, I pray, I pray, um, especially when the pain is so bad that I feel that I can't breathe properly. Then I just ask God for, uh, just to calm me, because then I go into a depression. I just want to stay in bed, stay in bed and cry the whole day. Damunse says she will forever cherish the good memories of her beloved mother. My mother's cooking her food. Oh, she was a good cook and she loved people and the, the church, her church, she loved the church. Um, the children, they in Corval, they, they call her mommy, they used to call her mommy. And yeah, um, she was a mother to all the children in Corval, or so most of them in Corval. Professionals suggest it's best to understand your emotions and surrender to them. Yvette Lucas from the Caroline Psychiatric Hospital says one must have a sense of gratitude to navigate the emotional trauma. Be kind to yourself. Embrace the treasure of the memories that you have built with this person. Keep in mind that memories are tinged with either happiness or sadness. And if you have to cry, cry. If you have to laugh, laugh. You know, um, many people feel that after a grieving period and um, the happy season comes up, you have to feel guilty. Neither laughter nor crying is disrespectful to the, to the person. Lucas has advised people to live in the present and cherish time they still have with their loved ones. She further advised those who have suffered a loss to hold on to the good memories. Reginald Vidboy, SBC News, Kimberley. Well, Reginald has more on that story and we cross live to him now in Kimberley. A very good morning to you and a Merry Christmas, Reginald. What's the latest? Well, a very good morning to you, Desiree, and also Merry Christmas to our colleagues, viewers and um, all others um, celebrating this day. Now, we know we heard in that package that um, it's a sad day for, for those who lost loved ones and for many it's really it's the first Christmas without their loved ones going to um, sit around the Christmas table to eat and just um, think about them um, this whole day and I know um, what I'm talking about because you and I we're sharing the same pain and also my heart and thought and prayers goes, goes out to you as well as you are celebrating this Christmas Day without your loved one as well. 
Um, now, I am here with um, Edith Damunse, and she is here at the, the gravesite with her family um, as they are celebrating Christmas Day without their mother. Um, a very good morning to you, Edith, um, and once again, our heartfelt condolences to you. Um, we know that it's the first Christmas without your mother, and the day is here. Um, I don't even want to ask how you feel because it's a pain that it's indescribable. Um, just share with us um, the good memories of your mother. Good morning, Reginald. Yes, um, yes. Uh, oh, she was a wonderful lady. Um, beautiful smile and missing her is it's it's really hard. The pain is it's. It's unbearable sometimes. Yes, um, she was loved, loved by everyone, by a lot of people, especially children. Um, yes, it's now seven months and three days. Um, she died of a heart attack, May the 22nd. Yeah, we miss her, we miss her so much. Um, yes, it's... <coughs> It's painful. It's really painful. And then also, um, just tell us, um, you are going to have family lunch with the family and um, without um, your mother. Previously, Christmas lunch always happened at the family house. How's it, uh, um, how's it going to be done this year? Yeah, that's true what you said. Um, so we're going to have our Christmas lunch at my house and because my mother's not there. So yes, I hope we will cope without her. Yeah. Um, so we're going to spend Christmas at my house. Just um, lastly, um, as a family, to deal with this, um, what is your message to other people who are also going through the same that you are going through? How do you navigate your, the emotions that you are going through? Yes, Reginald, you know, there's times when I, I just want to stay in bed because the pain is so unbearable, but, but then I realize God is there, so I pray. I pray and I'd like to tell the people without their loved ones, um, missing their loved ones, just um, look for a quiet place and, and pray. Yeah, it helps, it helps a lot to, to pray. So um, when they, with the, all the emotions and the memories boils up, then the pain comes with it. And then there are times that I can't even breathe so then I just pray. Thank you so much um, Edith. Uh, um, Merry Christmas to you and the family. I know it's difficult and but my heart, my, my thoughts and prayers going out to you and may your dear mother's soul rest in eternal peace. Um, well Desiree that was Edith Damunse um, here with the family at the gravesite of their mother. Um, we know that it's a difficult day for them and many others sharing um, this day without um, their loved ones, exchanging gifts. We also spoke to a psychologist, um, Yvette Lucas, telling us um, people need to have a sense of gratitude to cherish the good memories and also um, while they are still alive, just be there for them, be kind, show kindness, show love and show light to each and everyone um, still breathing because the day when they are gone um, it's only memories that we are going to cherish and they are not going to be around with us forever but um, with that said um, it's back to you in studio Desiree. Reginald thank you so much for uh, highlighting this side of Christmas and just how COVID-19 has impacted some of the ways we mark this day. Reginald uh, a bit boy there for you.